welcome to Cooking with Frisbees. I'm Beth, Keith is behind the camera today. Hello. And today, okay, we're making Gruyere stuffed turkey meatballs in a French onion sauce over egg noodles. <laughs> That's a lot. It's so much. I saw it on TikTok and I Googled it and I'm like, wow, this is a real thing that you can really do. So. We're gonna start with the onions. And the only reason why it's really called a French onion is simply because you sweat these onions and you caramelize them for a really long time, which is actually what you have to do with French onion soup. So, come over to the stove with me. So right here, I have unsalted butter, something I hadn't, I had always baked with, but never really had cooked with before. But so I've got about two, two and a half tablespoons of unsalted butter in here. And I'm gonna go ahead. I already chopped these. These are sweet onions. Um, you can use Vidalia if you can find them this year. They've been really hard to find. So I'm just using um, a sweet onion. And all we're gonna do is let this This is going to take a long time. And by a long time, I mean probably at least 30 minutes because we're doing this low and slow. And that's exactly what you wanna do. You want them to get nice and tender. It's the whole house smells like onions. <laughs> but you want them to get nice and tender and then you're just gonna let them render and cook and then get a little bit of brown on them. And then after they're done, then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna build the sauce around them. In the meantime, we're gonna go over and start some meatballs. Meatball time! Okay, so this was interesting to me. It was something different, like I said. I found this recipe online after I saw it on TikTok. I found a couple of different ones, but I like this one. You really want to admit you watch TikTok. <laughs> I just did. I said TikTok <laughs> yeah, made you me did. do it. I know you did. <laughs> so we're using a half cup of panko breadcrumbs, which I just adore. Um, we have herbs de Provence. The reason that you use herbs de Provence instead of trying to make your own mix is because of the lavender. The lavender is a big deal. Um, if you want to make your own, you certainly can. I'm using about a teaspoon of it. Break it up a little bit in here. I've got thyme. I'm using fresh thyme. I have a very little bit of thyme in my garden, unfortunately, and I'm gonna use it in the sauce because it's very pretty in the sauce. I've got one scrambled egg. Yes. I've got, I'm gonna use about, well, we'll see. I'm gonna do about a tablespoon of olive oil and some kosher salt and pepper. And then I'm gonna mix this up, kosher salt and half of that in pepper. And I'm gonna mix this up. What did I just do with that little whisk here it is? I'm just gonna whisk this up. So I'm gonna get all this incorporated together and then I'm gonna add my turkey, which is about a pound. And I like the idea of doing that because now I know I've got everything combined. So all I have to do is combine my turkey. And I feel like I can manipulate it less because I know everything else is already combined. Oopsie. They always say don't combine, don't work it too much. I guess there's something to be said for that, but I really don't like getting a full mouthful of breadcrumbs. So I'm gonna work it until I think it's done. Then we're gonna play with our food. Let me wash my hands real quick and I'll show you what we're gonna do.
Okay. No, that's not completely sanitized because I'm still going to play with my food. What we're going to do is make meatballs and we're going to put, oh, I forgot the garlic. I almost forgot the garlic. That would have been a sin. So here we go. Two cloves of, large cloves of garlic. And I'm just gonna put this a couple different places on here so I can incorporate it. All right, back in with the hands. Last thing you want is a big old piece of garlic. Do this one more time. Wash the hands and then we're going to make meatballs. Oh, the garlicness would be catastrophic. Gotta have garlic. In everything. <laughs> I think we do put garlic in everything, honestly. Okay, so this to the sink. Here's what I have. Baking dish sprayed. I use canola oil. You can use any type of spray oil. Um, if you don't have the darker pan, you might want to put a piece of parchment down. But in the meantime, do you use my ice cream scoop? So we're going to scoop. We're going to take a piece of Gruyere and we'll stick it down in the middle and we're going to cover it up. Tell me that's not the cutest meatball you've ever seen. And there's a little hidden treasure inside. So I'm going to do that several more times while the onions continue to cook and I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 400, and then we're gonna cook these for about 20 minutes. I mean, I'll check them as we go. Um, the turkey is extremely lean, but thankfully we've added a little bit of fat with the cheese. So stay tuned. Guess where these puppies are going? Okay, 400 degrees, depending on your oven. I'm gonna put them on for 15 minutes. We'll see, we'll check them at that point. Um, but I don't think they should take too much longer than that. So we've got timer 15, start. We'll see what happens. Let's go check the onions. Oh yeah, they're getting all translucent and soft. Oh, they're starting to caramelize. Is that this what is you want? really oh yeah. This is really why you want to use a nice heavy bottom pan like a cast iron. This is a ceramic covered Costco. cast cast iron. <laughs> it was. It is. I love this pan. I use it for a lot of different things. But, um, See, Beth gets gifts for no reason. I do, because he knows what I love, and he goes to Costco and now, he sees a great I'm deal. Say, now, don't bust my chops about I the never comments. Do. Of, no, no, the people watching. Oh. <laughs> don't bust me about yeah, but you're buying it at Costco because Costco has good stuff. And, they do. Hey, you know what? Don't hate the player, hate the game. I take care of my wife. <laughs> it's fun to have little surprises. So yes, this is one of my favorite things. It's great. For stews, I do have two other sizes as well. Um, one is a little bit smaller, deeper. I use that for like small soups, and then I have another really large, deep one that I use for like stews and chilies and stuff like that. Anyways, those are other episodes. But anyway, so yeah, by the time I'm hoping, by the time that the meatballs are done. These guys are going to be ready to start building our sauce and we have all of our accoutrements over here that 
We've got some dry white wine. We've got some Dijon mustard, some who's this here sister sauce, and fresh thyme. This is the fresh thyme I got out of my garden. I just don't have a lot of it, so I'm very sparing with it. Um, and this is just chicken broth. So we'll add all that. We'll build our sauce, and then we'll add our meatballs into it. I have another pot of water back here for our egg noodles that we're going to Love boil. Egg noodles. Love egg noodles. And then we will build it. I guess it's kind of like a beef stroganoff, kind of, right? Because don't you use egg noodles for that? You are asking. Oh, <laughs> I've only made it one time in my life. Say, my I, mom used to make I it all the never time. Never made it, so it was not a favorite dish of mine. <laughs> that's a question to our fans out there. What that is? It was know. not a favorite dish of mine, but it's fine. Um, so, anyways, so the onions are going. The meatballs are in. Stay with us. We'll be back. We'll come back, guys. So it's been 15 minutes, and we're going to take a quick break. Yeah! Oh, I see a little oozing of cheese. I do not think they're quite ready to come out. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave them in for just a couple more minutes. Like, literally. Like, like they need, are they supposed to brown in there? Because they're not browning. They're not. So, it's, first it's turkey. Timer ended. Okay, timer stopped. So, first of all, it's turkey. Second of all, they're baking. They're not at a huge high heat, and I also have to finish them in the sauce. So, I'm not concerned about them not being really super brown, and I am going to just turn them around because I know my oven. I'm just gonna get my oven gloves. And I'm just gonna spin them around for another couple minutes. There we go. And we're just gonna, I think I'm gonna add another three minutes to them. Check them again and see how they go. Then we're gonna start working on the sauce. How are the onions doing? The onions are doing amazing. Super Look at them. Caramelizing, that's what we're looking for. Not burning, caramelizing. Nice. Yep. And actually, as soon as I take the uh, meatballs out, I'm going to start building the sauce. Stay tuned. All right, we've got our caramelized onions. Look at that. They're so tasty. I would put this on like a burger, seriously. But what we're going to do... <laughs> I'm gonna add some wine. I've got a half a cup of wine here. The idea is that we're gonna cook this wine off and it's gonna help to, look, see? Start picking up all the bits and the flavor of the onion that got caramelized on the bottom. So we're gonna let this cook off for a minute. And then we're gonna continue to build our sauce. Oh yeah. Oop. <gasps> that means the meatballs are done. Okay. Come with me. Alexa, stop. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. These guys are definitely done. Woo! All right, so that was a total of 18 minutes for me. I'm going to turn this off. They look good, they look great. They are splitting a bit and the cheese is coming out. Oh my gosh, it's ooey gooey. I cannot wait. They look mm. amazing. <laughs> I can't wait to taste them. Okay, back to the sauce. So the wine is cooking out. Oh my gosh. All the bits are coming up. So now we're gonna start to add more flavor to this. So I have here, um, this is, who is this, is this a sauce? You know what I mean. And a little uh, Dijon. 
I got about a teaspoon of each. I'm going to add those in. Stir those up. Oh my gosh. We have got to come up with smell vision because this stuff smells so good. All the Sugar. wine has been incorporated. I'm going to okay. add my thyme. This is fresh thyme from my garden. I didn't have a lot of it this year. Um, it only grew in one place. I planted it in three different places and it only actually grew in one. Oh my gosh, this smells so amazing. Do a little salt and pepper here. Fresh cracked pepper. Now I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of flour because I want this to set up as a roux once I add the um, vegetable stock. Got one tablespoon. I want that floury taste to cook out. Got the first tablespoon in. Going to go in with another tablespoon right now. Wow, look how much that thickens up. It just soaked up everything. <laughs> See my water boiling. I'm getting ready to drop my egg noodles. But right now, I'm going to drop, this is a cup and a half of um, vegetable stock. I thought you said it was chicken stock. Oh, I'm sorry. Chicken stock. There we go. I'm going to let this go ahead and come to a boil. Then I'm going to drop, let it thicken up a bit, and then we'll drop our meatballs back in here to finish our sauce. I'm going to also drop some egg noodles. Oh my gosh. That looks so good. It smells lovely. Egg noodle time. I'm going to do what? Like two cups? Oh, I didn't salt the water. Wait. All right. Squish. Alexa, start a timer for 10 minutes. 10 <laughs> I was very proud that you did not run out of the yard today. Hey, big boy, what are you doing? You're such a good kid, huh? Yeah, you are. We put the meatballs in the sauce. So, sauce looks gorgeous. Oh, there's nice browning on the bottom at least. Yeah, there is. Oh my goodness. What's this called again? 
It's Gruyere stuffed meatballs with a French onion sauce over egg noodles. Oh my goodness, don't they look beautiful? They're just lovely. All right, I'm just gonna smush them around the sauce. I see why they say the French onion because it looks like kind of like French onion soup, although it's not built like it. But wow, I'm excited to taste the whole finished product. It's gonna be lovely. All right, just have to wait a couple more minutes for the egg noodles to be finished. And then we're gonna build our plate. See you in a minute. Pasta, egg noodles. Gosh, I love egg noodles. Facial. Yeah, that'll open up the pores. Mmm. <laughs> Free facial. Build you wait for me to drop something then. Wow, this really looks beautiful. I'm gonna throw some. How many meatballs do you want, babe? Just three. Just three? Yep. For now. I'm gonna take three as well. More little ones. Give you some more sauce. Not super pretty, but I'm gonna give it a it. taste. Yep. All right, what happens to well, my little meatball? Oh, okay. A little gray air in there. Let's get a little egg noodle. Hot. Mmm. That was a big bite. Mmm. The onion, the thyme, hint of wine, Dijon. Two thumbs up for me. <laughs> Thanks, guys. See you soon. <laughs>